In this video we're going to look at the Baby and Jinx Atsu um, challenge on Hack the Box. It's a web challenge and an easy category and the challenge description says can you find a way to log in as ad administrator of the website and free and Jinx Atsu. So let's grab the docker address and go and take a look. Okay, took a second for it to load up. And you see here we've gone to a login screen, it's asking us for an email and a password, uh, or we have an option to create an account. It says here generate your own Nginx con config file. So don't see anything particularly interesting here in the source code. Let's um let's just create an account because it's asking us for an email here. And we'll create an account crypto a at a dot com. Uh, crypto register the account and let's try and log in a at a dot com uh, crypto um, we log in here we have some configure some settings we can we can configure we um, have this location storage can add routes here, uploads, okay, um, and then we can generate a config. So let's hit generate, and that's generated a config here. Just wonder if hitting it again, okay, yeah, two configs. And if we go and take a look then at the 51, it's showing us our raw config here. You can see here config 51. Um, let's see if we can access config 50. I can't unauthorized, okay. So let's go back, have a look at ours. Um, what about if we have a look at the raw config? This has gone to storage and we have our conf.conf .conf file here in raw. Let's um, see if we can access the full directory. And we can, so we could actually go and have a look through all the different config files here. There seems to be quite a lot. I'm not too sure. There could be a flag in, in here somewhere for us. Um, but we also have this backup file. Let's have a look at it. You can see here some SQL tables being created. And we actually have some emails and hashes here it looks like. But let's download this and see if we can get a better look at it. W, wget and um, we'll open this up. And we have a database, database.sqlite. So let's open this up with the SQLite browser. And here we have our database structure. Let's have a look at the actual data, browser data. And what would be interesting here, probably the users, where we have our emails and our usernames. And then we have some password, hashes, API tokens. It looks like the hashes are probably in MD5 format. So we could take a copy of these here and then let's open up hashes, paste those in, save that. And let's try and run. We could use Hashcat, we could use John the Ripper. Let's do John dash dash format. Let me just do John help. So we can provide a format here and we can do dash dash list equals formats if we want to get a list of which formats we could enter here. So for us it's going to be um, MD5. Let's grep MD5. Okay. So, we'll um, run John dash dash format. I wonder, can we just do MD5 there? Try MD5 dash dash word list equals, and then we can provide the word list here. See if you need to do auto complete, then it's better to do it this way. I think I have a. Where do I have a passwords directory? Word lists. No, um, 
Secless, okay, let's have a look here. Wordless, secless, passwords, probable, let's see, top 12,000. Just go back so there's no space here. And then we want to give it the hashes file. Unknown ciphertext format, MD5. No password hashes loaded. Okay, raw MD5, which I didn't actually see here. But um, okay, so let's see. Loaded three password hashes. That's complete. So let's try and do show. Need to give it the hashes. Oh, zero password hashes cracked, six left, okay. Let's um let's set this to user share word lists. Crack station real. Big word list. Okay, and there it's got straight away admin admin one. It was one of the passwords. We can now run show. Okay. We have to run show <laughs> former equals raw MD five apparently. And there we go, yeah, okay, so it got us the admin admin one password there um let's let's uh, also just check the doing that with hashcat as well. We could have done hashcat, let's just open up the hashcat help, so you have some examples here the dash m is for our mode, so zero would be for our m d five um you can get a full list of the modes and stuff here. So let's do hashcat dash m zero for MD five hashes for our hashes there and then pass in a word list so we'll give it user share word lists and let's say have I been pwned. Um it will run run a lot quicker not doing this inside a VM. This is running off my CPU rather than off my GPU. That's probably gonna take a while actually while that's running Let's look at what would have been the easiest way to do this. The easiest way and what I would typically do, and I'm just more demonstrating the way to do this if you don't have access to the internet. If you have access to the internet, it's probably easier just to go and check a site like CrackStation and try and crack the hashes. Oh my god. Um, and there we get for this password. Um, admin admin one so let's grab the username there okay I shouldn't have um, done that with the have I been pwned that's probably wasn't a good idea I said it's crack station crack stations a bit quicker it's still a very big file I could have done it with something else really um, and as it's running through that you can check the status but um we already have the password anyway let's see what that corresponds with and it'll be this first value here so let's grab the email address we want to try and go and oh did I close down the page yep we want to go and try and log in here so let's just delete our cookies and refresh the page I'll ask us to log in we'll paste in that email Um, okay, that was exhausted and didn't find any. Any passwords? Oh, it did find it, it did find it. That's a password, okay. I must have um, been hitting through with the status whenever I was trying to do that, or it was, it was still waiting to see if it could find the other passwords. It only cracked one. Um, okay. So we've got the password, let's paste that in there and log in. 
and there we go we've logged in as the admin and we've got our flag all right hope you've enjoyed this challenge sorry if there's a bit of um a bit too much messing around with the password cracking i just thought i'd demonstrate a few different ways to do that for anybody that's interested um any questions comments leave them below thanks